The Cognitech Tri-Suite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Video Investigator is Cognitech's comprehensive video processing platform for extracting the utmost available clarity from image or video sources. One of Video Investigator's most useful functions, Defocus Deblur, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. Blurring in an image can occur when an object is incorrectly focused with a camera lens, when a camera shutter is open while an object and camera are in motion with respect to each other, when an image is subjected to fraction blur, and when an image is subjected to Gaussian blur. Video Investigator's Blur and Deblur filters use a common set of mathematical operations called blur kernels. Blur kernels have distinct properties to model real-world blur scenarios through a mathematical process called convolution. If the nature and degree of the blur can be estimated, a deblur filter can reverse the blurring effect through the mathematical operation called deconvolution. By using these powerful filters, we can reveal original details in an image which cannot be discerned in the blurred image. Video Investigator includes several deblur filters. The Motion Deblur filter has the ability to automatically deblur images and video when the blur is caused by linear motion. The adaptive deblur filter can be used for all blur types, including nonlinear motion blurs. This filter can be used to automatically create a custom blur kernel when a non blurred image is available for reference, or if the path of a blur is visible in an image. The Wiener and Total Variation filters offer a method of manually deblurring an image. They have built in blur kernels for common blur types, along with the ability to use custom blur kernels. The Wiener filter is the fastest of the two manual deblurring methods, however, it's known for enhancing noise and creating image artifacts. The Total Variation filter is superior to the Wiener filter in that it's designed to minimize visual artifacts while maintaining sharp edges within images. However, it requires more computer processing time than the Wiener filter. In this tutorial, we'll practice the manual deblurring method by deblurring an image that has been improperly focused. Let's see how simple it is to deblur an image. Watch me. This image was taken with the lens incorrectly focused on the subject. There seems to be something written down, but the image is too blurry to read it. To deblur it, first I'll go to the Filters menu, and from the Deblur submenu, I'll choose the Wiener filter because it's slightly faster than the total variation filter. From the blur kernel selector, I'll choose defocus. Now I can adjust the radius slider, which will adjust the spread of the unfocused image. It looks like the image is becoming clearer as I increase the radius size. However, at the maximum radius size, the image is still illegible. The default radius range is from 0 to 40. I'll increase it from 40 to 80. Now I can adjust the radius slider again until I see the image become clearer. This looks pretty good so far. I'll adjust the signal to noise slider to see if I can make the image any clearer. The writing is now legible. You can now read how this image was created. I can click on the original button to toggle between the original image and the deblurred image. I'll click on the process button to apply my settings on the image and then click finish to close the Wiener filter interface window. Before we begin the hands-on portion of this tutorial, let's take a closer look at the manual deblur interfaces. This is the Wiener filter's interface window. 
The appropriate blur kernel for a given blur type can be chosen here from the blur kernel selector. The radius slider adjusts the spread of the unfocused image. Adjusting the slider simulates focus on an image. The signal to noise ratio slider relates to the measure of estimated signal to background noise in the image. Decreasing the signal to noise ratio will eliminate noise artifacts but may also cause excessive image and small detail smoothing. The total variation filter also includes the radius slider with the additions of the noise variance and iteration sliders. The noise variance slider specifies the estimated amount of noise in the image. The iteration slider specifies how many times a filter will be applied to the image. Congratulations! You have successfully removed a defocus blur from an image by using Cognitech Video Investigator. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at cognitech.com or tech support at cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.